Hi, my name is Ava Joyce. I'm from Bell Valley Bunyan and I love taking part in music and our dancing classes in Bally Bunyan Kyoto's branch. I know our chairman Robert Stack also loves dancing, so I decided to do, to do our project on Robert and his dancing career. Are you born in Dune or were you born somewhere else or? No, I was born across the road in, that was our old home, across the road, uh, where all my family, my siblings grew up there and, and uh, never immigrated anywhere. I never had a desire to go anywhere other than here at home and Valley Bunnan was my mecca. <laughs> And you're steeped in the traditions of Ballybunion, Robert. And this is where you first le learned to, to dance, was it? I first learned to dance across the road in the kitchen with my mother. She, when she'd hear the, the Blue Daniel playing on the radio, she'd uh, pull me up on the floor and that was where I learned to waltz. That's where you learned to waltz. This bridge is called Dan Daly's Bridge, but, um, but he's a great musician and great dancer and fiddler. And he mm. he was Rob, when Robert was growing up. Dan Daly was uh, he came from Arda in the County Newry, and uh, I don't know how he came here. He was here, I suppose, long before my time. He was here. I know he was here in my grandfather's time. And uh, he was he was a, a dancer master and a fiddle player. And uh, he used to hold a dancing school across the road in the old house. And uh, I had uh, three sisters, and there was three four neighbours that used to come there and learn to dance, step dance. No, so I was young and. Uh, Unfortunately, in 1945 or six, my father decided to buy a pub in Belly Bunnan and moved on there and I lost my chance to learn to dance. What attracted you to Hannon's Hall? <clears throat> my first venture to Hannon's Hall was for uh, mm, the Faha team rejuvenated in, in uh, that I don't know exactly what year it was. It's the football team, isn't it? The football team. And they had a, a, a fundraising dance in Hannon's Hall. And uh, that was the first place I went to a dance in Hannon's Hall with a short trousers. <laughs> and uh, the music was local um, to Hannon's. And, uh, I forget who was to play the drums. But at that, that time it was strictly uh, a daily on the rules of the GA. So you had nothing, only uh, a real set of hard pipes, a Siege of Venus, and an all time waltz. And uh, that would be the 
the basic knight's horn in the mm. heart. So as he has been biting, I got uh, there, there would be a dance there at um, the uh, sports in Berlin every September and for the weekend there'd be a dance there on the three nights of the sports for being the the end of the year. And uh, that was a great uh, venue of the no it was, it was the only times that there would be a dance there because they'd have to take the hay out of the hall before the dance and sweep the floor, it was a timber floor, ordinary boards and they'd shake uh, locks and paraphernalia on the floor that was it and, and the paraphernalia keep down the dust and it would help make the floor slippery so I was able to dance the Siege of Innistin and, and once you had time you could go and do anything and that was the start of your dancing that career? That was the start of my dancing career in 19, 1957, 58, Matt Sullivan came and he bought uh, a central hotel in Berlin. And he demolished it. There was a big open courtyard where, where the, the, the Gulf Hotel standing now. But he built a, a big so a ballroom there that could hold three up to four thousand would have paid going in there at the weekend. So uh, that was in, in it was in nineteen fifty nine I got my first season ticket and that was the dancing thing. And we could dance three nights a week in June, seven nights a week in July and August and three nights a week in September and it cost seven pounds for the first season ticket. That's, sorry no, three pounds ten shillings and it finished up at seven pounds ten or eleven years later when I retired. And when did you start the set dancing then Robert? Yeah, I couldn't tell you know what year it was. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> Who was the instigator of it? Uh, that was the belly one and group then, Liam Buckley, that uh, invited us to, to go down and they were farming a set and called us. Mm -hmm. The branch had been farmed and uh, that was how we started to dance the competition field. But uh, before that thing, our dancing would be in SD and in, in uh, Lizelton. Did you ever make it to the Six Crosses? No, I never got to the Six Crosses, but we would go to Causeway. Mm. We, we cycled to Causeway and cycled to everybody else that time until uh, 1959 when I got a driver's license and we used to steal the car. <laughs> <coughs> With the three set dancing groups that were there at that time, like, that, was, that was a great uh, buzz when, when uh, they'd be all going out together and organising them. But Liam Buckley, like he, he was, same as old, I don't know, he had, he had control. And he had, uh, um, yeah, and and uh, in a nice way, like he, he was never abusive to any of the crowd, like you know. Only he was a good organizer. Yeah, you would get to tell enough, kind of if uh, yeah, if we weren't doing what we should do. Yeah, but uh, he got results that way, and and and, and everybody enjoyed it and had a great time. Yeah. Um. The dancing then started, uh, <coughs> I got competitions started in, and uh, we, we, Liam, kept the crowd going and we had uh, Jack Lyons and Kitty Maher out of the set, and uh, James Welsh, and uh, Mary Kazan. Jane, then she was she was a good step dancer. So that kind of evolved around it, and then uh, 
väldigt god någon en väldigt lyssnat in väldigt god någon en väldigt god någon där för att grupp tillgår så vi hade vi hade kärd någon igen John Joe Daniel en Hoel Snow Jesus Hoel Snow till min benämning så det det var Patrick and uh, <coughs> saw this bit of a shape. Yeah. Came out of that, didn't I? Didn't know. It was, it was so simple. It was just a, it was that simple, like, you know. And everyone in the competition, they, when we were at it, Paddy Jamorphy used to be down from Cashin Island to be down his knees looking to see could he pick it up. It was <laughs> so uh, crowd were very jealous of it. And it was so simple that it was it. Can you give us a demonstration? We enjoyed it, huh? Did you say it? Can you describe it for us? Yeah, all it was, look, was... That's all it was. Yeah. That's simple. Yeah. And, and, uh, well, back in, the print was done fairly fast to see it looked. Yeah. It looked a thing. And you carried this step from humble beginnings. Did it go all over the world? It did, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, you see that uh, the fly new thing was big time in in Innes, and uh, Liam had had uh, he had three groups, age groups, the seniors, the under 18s and mm -hmm. under 14s, mm -hmm. and there was. Three groups going to the Flannu and uh, taking part in the competitions and in the concert. And that. So that was where there was an all Island competition and uh, a half set competition, and that was where we won the half set part of the competition. And uh, after that, then we were invited to to tour Britain. We had we had great summers in in Tim Hannan Lab to mess in him. In in the canoe in the Corrug, mm -hmm. and uh, where did you go with the Corrug? We just go across the Clare, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a great trip. It was a great trip. We were going boat, we were going no trouble. Shifting the woman in the decks. We oh boat. Jesus, Robert! <laughs> <laughs> and what about football? Football played a big part <coughs> in your life too, didn't it? It did, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, we, we used to have a great football team until the 1st of June, when the, the season started. And uh, it was Jensen took over, then Belly Women took over. So... Uh, yeah. And a bit beyond, we have a crowd here from Belly Women tonight. Yeah. And we have a crowd here from Young, and not so young. And to tell the truth, we have a lot more than in that team. I don't need two carriages on, so we had to dance some of them behind us. So here they come, young and not so young. So relax and enjoy the music and belly women and cultures. And to tell the truth, we had a bit of help from the surrounding districts as well. A few of the neighbours came in. And we're delighted they can see you to come and join us. So enjoy yourselves for the rest of your life. Well, we're going down to Kerry for our next set dancers. 
Bob Stack and the Ballybunion dancers are all very welcome. Well, I'm happy. Tell me, pork cassettes are very popular down there, aren't they? Very, very popular. There's always the tradition in, in the brand dances and in the local halls around where we came to pick up what we have today. And what was it like that time you started out set dancing? Where did, the, where did it occur? Well, uh, <coughs> when we started, we were in the elders of us that was in, in the, the country halls around us. There were uh, one in Hannon's Hall in Bale. The other was the parish hall in Ashley, and then we had Hagerty's Hall in the Zilton. And uh, they were within cycling distance of us, and we just got around there. There'd be a dance two nights a week. And was dancing kind of, was it wound into the fabric of, 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 of the social happenings as well? Like oh, God, very, and very much so, like in, especially at Sopin. I was fortunate to be on Sopin on two occasions, like in was all sets and, and reels, sets and hornpipes. So uh, that was how we came to pick up what we have. No, the music, of course, was very important as well, like, you know, because yeah. uh, a good set player, yeah, you right. know, I see stuff, and it's the same as getting the belt of a nash butt across the backside, <laughs> but he changes the show. <laughs> well, Dole, can you, can you follow that act? Well, here we are, we're ready now almost for the pork set, so will you give it a, give it a belt, you will? We will indeed. Good man.